All right, welcome back to the uh, our cozy drawing and art channel. A little bit of poetry and music. Come here to relax. Hope you got your art robe on today and your hat, maybe cozy hat, maybe a cup of tea. You might even have one of these. This is Eli. He likes art too. I know a lot of artists have cats. All right, get out there, buddy. He's about 10 years old, he's, a, he's a all white. But uh, today I'm gonna show how to make an art poster. So, just hope your life is going well and you know, we live in some challenging times. And I hope that anyone who finds this channel and comes to it to watch some art being made or get inspired has a, has a peaceful moment in their life. Uh, blessings and uh, peace and comfort to you. And I hope this takes your mind off your trouble. We're gonna make an art poster. I mean, this, uh, this idea is something I've done for years. You can take just a piece of printer paper and you do drawings of patterns and tape it together, tape them together. And then you have a big, big painting to hang on your wall above your couch. You could get it framed or whatever, but. So today we're gonna do an art poster out of printer paper. It'll be huge. This one's gonna be nine pieces of paper taped together. First, I'm gonna show how I do this. You see that you can see the paper here on my countertop. And all I do is just take some tape, just some, you know, just some regular wrapping tape or whatever you got, and then you just match up your seams on your paper with your tape. And just start taping, taping down there till you get your two pieces of printer paper done. Now you don't want to do this until your drawing's done. This is just saying my draw, drawing's done. Or I guess you could draw, if you wanted a big piece of paper, you could tape it together first. So I just taped, this is an example, I just taped two pieces of, that's two pieces of printer paper. You can see the seam there, I only went halfway. It's two pieces, it makes that big, that's just two pieces of paper makes something that big. And once you get two taped together, you can tape another two and then tape the four with one seam, and then you have four pieces. A lot of this channel is gonna be about making different kinds of art posters out of paper. So today's art poster is, I'm gonna show how I draw these faces. Okay, so this is a special, this is a special, uh, marker this can do some amazing art and I'll show you why I happen to have a, it looks like a pink if you can just let's tilt this down here tilt this down a little bit so you can see what's going on here and what we're gonna do for this face post for what the reason why these are great these art markers which you can get at your little local store. You turn it on its side and you get this, see that? You get to turn it on its side, you don't use the point, just use the side. So I'm gonna show you how I do faces, some faces with it. So you can start off and maybe cut in a couple eyes. It's on its side, so it's controlled. Maybe on its side, look at that. Just so easy to do and you could a lot of times when i'm drawing i'm turning my paper so if i want to get a straight line for a nose it's on its side and then you can come in and see that see how the face works and then maybe cut in some i'm moving the paper for the lips something like that where you get some face type stuff no I'm just using the side of the marker. You can see the face already on there. Kind of a pop art style. Anyway, I just wanted to show it. And then once you get a face on there, you want to go turn it and get another face going right off the side of it. You're creating a pattern. So then here's another face. And kind of, so I have two faces and you're just attaching faces all throughout, okay? This was just kind of quick, I just wanted to show. But um, now I'm gonna lift up this camera and I'm gonna show you what I made. It's, now this thing is huge, it's nine pieces of paper. I haven't taped it yet. 
but I want to give you an idea of what you could create and you, you could honestly, I think you could, eventually I might do it as I've gotten older, uh, just tape a bunch of posters together and frame them and maybe have an art gallery show with these. So you could do posters like this or have it for your own. I'm going to lift this up and show you the piece that I just finished making faces. I, it takes up my whole kitchen table and, uh, it's an abstract uh, face art poster, and you can make this at home doing just what I showed you. But here it is. Go over here and show the table. So you get an idea that's nine pieces of paper that takes up my whole table. And all I have to do is tape those together from the back side. I'll tape those together and maybe frame and mat that. And that'd go up on a wall somewhere in the house. That's just one, one abstract face art idea that you could do. And it becomes a pattern. And I think a lot of this channel is going to be like that, where we make patterns and tape them together and make big pieces of art. You can make giant pieces of wall art out of it. So I hope you like that. I'll set this camera back down here. Maybe on the next one, we might read some poetry out the window or... Maybe get the guitar out. Um, just trying to provide a little peace and comfort for you for a minute or two during the day so that just a kind of a get away from the real world that we can just, as artists, we're, we're, we're fortunate that uh, we can use our creativity to just, it's, it clears our minds. So. Hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you some art ideas and inspiration, and I hope you come back for the next one. Uh, we might do a little poetry reading or something, and uh, we'll talk some, some uh, hopeful and inspirational talk. All right, thank you for tuning in. See you on the next one.